raised in Detroit. Growing up there, I saw people like me running things. This is a courtroom, not a circus, so we're going to calm down. I'm sorry. What I found there was a passion that I didn't know existed. This is the bottom line. I'm excited to free fall into the limitless possibilities with we the people. So many are fearful of the law. They think it's something that works against them. I think you need to begin to accept responsibility for your mistakes. We are the people. Lauren Williams claims she sent her son to a neighborhood birthday party and he came home with a dental emergency. Sasha Brenner claims the plaintiff's son was misbehaving and no one else got hurt. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lauren Lake presiding. Please be seated. Thank you, Sean. Good day, everyone. Good morning. This is the case of Williams versus Brenner. Ms. Williams, you are suing Ms. Brenner for $1,850 uh, for an emergency dental bill. You had to pay dental fees for your son's teeth. They were knocked out at a birthday party. Yes. All right, tell the court what happened. My son went to her daughter's birthday party and she provided a very unsafe environment. He got injured, and I want her to pay the bills for it. How old was she turning? Six. All right, so six-year-old birthday party. How old is your son, Miss Williams? He is also six. All right, six years old. How do they know one another? Uh, we uh, live in the same neighborhood. All right, so you're neighbors. Mm -hmm. So you take your son to the party. What happens? Uh, my son went on his own to the party. Oh, because it's inside of a neighborhood? What do you do, ride yeah. his bike? He just walked there. Oh, just walked. Oh, yeah. where was the party being held? Just the communal park area. In a neighborhood? Yeah. Your son just walks over to the birthday party? Yes. So how do you find out about his injuries? When he, when he got home, his, his two teeth were knocked out. Uh, I guess he went down the slip and slide. Which teeth? Did you bring evidence? Yes, I do have Let me see that, a picture of his That's teeth. Thank you. Yeah. So this is the picture of his teeth. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Ew, that looks like it hurts. Yes. All right, so you come home and your son's teeth look like that. Mm -hmm. And what happens? You immediately go, what? I immediately took him uh, to the dentist. They had to do root canals and put in dental implants. And so at some point, do you call Ms. Brenner and say, what happened? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. So, Ms. Brenner, I want to come to you. You had the birthday party for your daughter. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Ms. Williams' son's teeth get knocked out. Unfortunately. Why didn't anybody call her to say, hey, your son had a, a, you know, a little accident over here. Something happened. Well, me and one of the moms actually walked Max back over to his house and made sure that we found Ms. Williams and let her know, you know, that he got injured. He walked in and was crying, and he told me everything that went down and then I called her and talked to her about it. Okay, so take me to the party, Ms. Brenner. You're having the party. At what point in the party did this accident happen? This happened more towards the end of the party. I mean, we had been there having a great time. Um, her son was acting rambunctious, probably because she was not there. So we couldn't control him. So you didn't stay at the party? I, I didn't go to the party. At all? No. Okay. Ms. Williams didn't come. Her son was acting rambunctious. Did anybody have to calm him down? Yes. Several of the parents tried, but he kept saying, you know, you're not my mom, you're not my dad. Um, and so, unfortunately, he had an accident in the slip and slide. He pushed a kid out of the way, and then he just went flying, so there was nothing we could do. Um, we had asked him to be safe. Uh, so the party was a slip and slide party? Yes. Yeah, and so I sent out an invitation and I gave all the details, letting them know, you know, what was going to happen. So Where's the invitation? Surprises. Did you bring it? Yes, I did. Let me see that, please. Yeah. Thank you. So it's a slip and slide birthday bash for Sarah's sixth birthday. Parents are welcome to stay and play. So were there other parents there? Yes, Your Honor. Every other child had their parent present. But you just didn't choose to go? I just, I don't want to be around them. She's very hostile to me in general anyways. And it's, it was already in the community. I felt he would be safe, but apparently not. I expected her 
to provide a safe environment. But you knew it was a slip and slide party. I did know that, but what I didn't know was that she was going to use dish soap as well on the slip and slide. So it's already on a hill and she added dish soap to it to like extra lubricate it. So it's like a like a, a super now it's bubbly yes. and even more slippery. Did you add the dish soap, Miss Brenner? I did add some dish soap, yes. Coming up. I can tell it's a little chilly between the two of you. She's a very difficult woman to deal with. I've never done anything to you. She's rude and disrespectful to us, as well as flirts openly with our husbands. Whoa! And later... He broke the lease agreement first by not providing me a working washer. Washer's fine, dryer's fine, nothing, it's working! So he likes dirty clothes. I don't understand what's going on. We're back with Lauren Williams and Sasha Brenner, who are blaming each other for a child's injury. So I had my clerk look up the directions for a slip and slide just to see how this thing works. Once the drop cloths are secured and in place, you just hook the hose to it and turn on the water. It doesn't say add bubbles. Okay. Well, in addition, it was placed, the end of it was placed exactly where the playground equipment was. So that's what he ran into. So when he, he came down sliding hill. down face yeah. first, did he slide down face first? Do you remember? Yes. Yeah. He ran into what? You were there. Yes, he ran into the jungle gym. Ooh. So it, it was an unfortunate... How close did you have this place to the jungle gym? It wasn't that close. It was just close enough so when the kids came down from the slip and slide, they could go and play on the jungle gym. Um, but it wasn't like right next to it where they could get hurt. I mean, all the other parents were there. None of the other kids got hurt, so I don't understand but my son, why we're here today. He's he's 40 pounds, soaking wet. He He's small. He just... <laughs> just zoomed down the slide and ran right into the equipment. Did it occur to you when he got injured? Maybe I should not have used the dishwashing soap? I really believe it was because he was just being out of control and there was nothing we could do to calm him down. But when you invite six-year-olds to a birthday party, isn't it reasonable to assume that there's gonna be just a few of them? I know I remember from my son's birthdays. It's always a couple who come and act a fool. So. Tell me what happens from there. I, I immediately took him to get it taken care of and All looked right. at. All right, so the exam, root canal, and an implant. All right, totaling $1,850. So I'm going to ask you, Ms. Brenner, you admit that you had the slip and slide, you add the dishwashing liquid. Why do you think you shouldn't be liable for these medical expenses? I think that she should have been responsible and have come and watched her own child. But your, your, your party invitation says parents are welcome to stay and play. It doesn't say parents are required to stay. Absolutely, but I can't control every movement the child does. No, know? you cannot. And so you believe it was her son's behavior that contributed to his accident that he had because no other child had the same accident? Yes, Your Honor. Did you ever give her a call or send her a text and say, hey, you know, your little munchkin is down here wiling out. I think you might want to walk down here. Did you ever do that? Uh, no, I did not. So he obviously wasn't acting that bad. He, he did start pushing other kids out of the way to get into the slip and slide, so... It was bound to happen, I guess. Um, what was bound to happen? The kid causing himself an accident was bound to happen. I mean, just the way he was running around and pushing people out of the way. Um, it's just a miracle that he didn't get hurt any worse than he did. So I can tell it's a little chilly between the two of you. What's your relationship like? You said you didn't even want to go to the party, Ms. Williams, because no. of the way they treated you. No, and especially her. She's always very hostile to, towards me. Um, I just don't want to be around that group of women. Do you all like her, Ms. Brenner? Your Honor, she's a very difficult woman um, to deal with, so I... I've never done anything to you. Lauren, you know that you are the bully. You make fun of our children's haircuts and what they wear to school. She's rude and disrespectful to us as well as flirts openly with our husbands. Oh, Whoa, please. So these I are some strong flirted. allegations. How I, do you respond, Ms. Williams? Uh, that's ridiculous. I've never flirted with anyone. If I've maybe smiled, been nice. And you made fun of Lisa's hit kid's haircut. I mean, 
I think it's well, really I just, disrespectful. I, I think and maybe she needs to, to talk about a child that way. I okay. mean, they're six years old. However, they want to wear their hair. Is I was fine. just commenting. Ooh, Lord have I mercy. Was, was okay, order, 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 order. I wish I had this gavel when I used to be in these mommy groups. You need a gavel in these mommy groups. <laughs> I, I don't even want to hear you all bickering back and forth because it just takes me back to a time when I used to hear all that nonsense and I didn't want to hear it then. We have to be the adults in the scenario. You're not going to get along with every person. Every person is not going to be your cup of tea. It is a whole bunch of nonsense. Kids want to play and they want to have fun. To that end, you have to provide a reasonably safe party for those children to enjoy. Slip and slide, okay. That's a toy we all know about. However, you're adding dishwashing liquid, which the directions do not say. Well, a reasonable person in that circumstance should say, if I make it more slippery, that means something could potentially happen to a child who slips too far. In your own testimony, you said, when a child is acting so rambunctious like that, an accident is bound to happen. When you invite people to a party, you are saying, I am going to do what's reasonably necessary to keep all of the children safe. And in this instance, you did not. And for that reason, my judgment is for the plaintiff for $1,850. Court is adjourned. All rise. Judge Lake has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant owes $1,850. There you go. Well, the mommies are, are going to hear about this. I, can you just tell me what your problem is with me? You flirted with my husband. I, at the not, I never meeting. even talked to Tim. You have his number. He showed me the text messages. Coming up. You develop a nose for these things. That old nose tells you when somebody's trying to do a number on you. And that's what I think is the situation. I just don't think she liked the building. She didn't like the people. In fact, when she moved in, we had a party for her. And she didn't show up. Network featuring dynamic judges and live legal programming. Well, we're not oh, at your school. We're in my courtroom. Unique court shows. Where is any information about the company? Live legal news. That's what you should have done. And a commitment to justice. Either you tried or you did it. The next generation of court programming in one dynamic network. Justice Central. You're watching Justice Central. Stay tuned. You're watching Justice Central. You're watching We the People with Judge Lauren Lake. Brianna Poole claims her landlord refused to fix the washing machine, so she had no choice but to move. Aaron Moss says the plaintiff was looking for an excuse to break her lease and is countersuing for $2,050. Good day, everyone. Good day. Good day. This is the case of Poole versus Moss. Ms. Poole, you are suing Mr. Moss for $2,050, which is your unreturned security deposit. You say he owes you even after you broke your lease. And uh, the defendant, you are countersuing Ms. Poole pool for $2,050 because you claim that she owes you a month's rent. Is that correct? Right, that's right. I want to start with the plaintiff. Tell the court what happened during this lease term. Multiple instances happened, but none were as worse as the washer machine. How Plus, long was the lease term? The lease term itself was one year long. All right. But I was there for four months. Okay. While I had that lease, I would have also a working washer and a dryer. My washer just didn't work anymore, and he refused to replace it. So I wanted to leave. All right, tell me why you say it, it didn't work at all? I mean, you couldn't wash? The motor itself, it went off. I tried calling a repairman, and he told me that the motor was broken. So you called a repair person out? I did call her. And they out. diagnosed the issue? Yes. Do you have any evidence? I do, Your Honor. And so, Mr. Moss, were you made aware by Ms. Poole that the washer was not working properly in her unit? Oh, she came to me, Your Honor, and she was very upset. She said, if you don't fix this, I'm going to move out. Coming up. Article 33, a notice is on the lease agreement. I could come after her for eight more months of rent on her lease. We're back with Brianna Poole and her former landlord, Aaron Moss, who are arguing over a security deposit and unpaid rent. 
this was my parents building they for 50 years they mm -hmm. passed away about 15 years ago and I remodeled the old place I bought new washing machines for the building so this was years, a new washing machine you no know, 15 years old your honor but they did tell me these machines would last 25 years if you really took care of them well I could come after her for eight more months of rent on her lease because uh, according to this or uh, article 33 of uh, notices on the lease agreement uh, she'd have to have this in writing sent to me okay let me see that evans you better mm -hmm. go ahead and, and get your little evidence article 33 <laughs> let me see so you've got the lease agreement I see in the lease agreement that notice should be given. I've also reviewed, Ms. Poole, the evidence that you say the repair company came out uh, and gave you where it says that the machine is 15 years old. Mr. Moss just confirmed that in his testimony. And what this repair company says is that the cycle doesn't spin fully because the machine does not agitate like it once did when it was new. The recommendation was to replace the motor but the part is no longer in production. Did you receive a copy of this repair statement, Mr. Moss? You know, I did, but I don't really. These company, these people that come, they'll tell you this because they get you to buy a new machine to get a kickback from the company. I've been a landlord for a long time. You develop a nose for these things. And sometimes that old nose tells you when somebody's trying to do a number on you. And that's what I think is the situation. I just don't think she liked the building. She didn't like the people. In fact, when she moved in, we had a party for her, and she didn't show up. Judge Lake's verdict when We the People returns. You didn't show up to the welcome party, Ms. Poole? I don't need to show up to anything like that, Your Honor. It's, I work hard every day. I am a night shift nurse. All I do is work. All I do is see people 24-7. Why do I want to come home and have cookie cake and party with other people? I want to go home and I want to sleep. And wash your clothes? And wash my clothes. Nothing's wrong. The washer's fine, dryer's fine. Nothing, it's working. So he likes dirty clothes. I don't understand what's going on. I understand exactly what's going on. This 15-year-old washer that we're dealing with needs a new motor. Mm. And that's it. Do you have another motor? Or could you just replace it with a reasonably cost new washer? That's what you could have done. And most importantly, you could have kept a great tenant. Right. I don't think you moved well through your business process, Mr. Moss. Yes, ma'am. It's been determined by this court, judgment for the plaintiff for $2,050. Defendant, your claim has been dismissed. Court is adjourned. All rise. Judge Lake has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant owes $2,050. Hmm. Well, what can he do? Sorry it worked out like this. I'm happy to have my money back. Is it hurting me financially? But at least we're done with all this mess. You may now exit the courtroom.